Alright, working on the engine here for a little scooter down there. I think uh, it's a nice day out today, you know, it's uh, it's been raining for months and we finally got a decent day. So I think I'll take this outside and uh, paint it, paint the block, paint the oil pan, paint the head and uh, I guess that's the valve cover. Uh, I was thinking about, uh, I didn't do anything to this. You know, because you got a big uh, piece of metal taken out of the side here, and then another one on this side, and a big dent right here. And to make this right, I'd have to put a couple of hours into it, and even further, uh, even even more than that, there's another dent right here. But uh, to get rid of all the pits, you know, this is pitted pretty bad. This whole thing, I have to grind it down and and probably put a thin coat of uh, plastic on everything. So instead of doing that, instead of Putting hours into this, I think I got I got a spare one. I'll just uh, put a, a different one on there. And then this here, even with this, I might take the plate off. This here is uh, pitted pretty bad too, but uh, you know if I had to use it, I would. That's just the shroud that goes on here. Keep the air going around the cylinder. You need that, but uh, I think I'm gonna take that. I got to take this. Uh, Name plate off anyway, so I, I should have extra ones of these too. So I'll see. You know, there's no sense in putting time into into something like this when you have an extra one laying around. So, all right, let me clean this, take this apart, and uh, we'll degrease this with uh, lacquer thinner, and then take it outside and we'll spray it. You know, I, I was going to spray it red. You know, just like this uh, hit and miss over here that we made. This breaks. You know, that would look good, even with the gold uh, emblem and stuff. But then, uh, I was thinking it wouldn't look right on a scooter, you know. I mean, we're trying to keep the the look of an old antique engine, and, and what goes better than black with old and antique, right? Because then it, would, it would, then it would look like a new, you know, five-horse engine. Nobody would know the difference. So, we're going to go with black, you know. It's like Henry Ford said, you can have any color you want as long as it's black. So... That's what we're going to do. We're going to go with that. All right, let me take this part, clean it up, and uh, we'll take it outside and do some painting. All right, we're painting back here at the trees, and uh, we got the. All, we're all primed up here, so uh, let's go with the second. Or let's go with the top coat. All right, this is the final coat. I didn't show the second coat because, uh, or the first coat, because it looks just like the second coat. So, uh, all right, remember this ain't a show engine, even though it looks like one. You know, it's just 
It's just gonna be on a scooter, a dirty old scooter. All right, it's the next day, and uh, this stuff here had uh, overnight to dry. Um, I'm happy the way it came out. Uh, so now, now we got the shroud to deal with. Now, like I said, I don't think I'm gonna go with this shroud because it has a a big somebody chewed out the, the side here, cut this side, and cut this side, and then it's it's got a lot of pits and stuff in it. Plus, it's got a, a major dent here. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but uh, that's all caved in. But also, if you look up and you look in the corner here, see it's, it's got holes and stuff. So, uh, you know, I mean, it looks okay, and, and I can fix it, but uh, I don't think it's worth the time. So I went out in the shed, and uh, I found this one here. And this one here is... Uh, pristine a little different you know I mean it uh, has a smaller hole for the the pull start there but uh, that's fine but then I'm looking at it and I'm saying this thing is actually too nice you know this don't have a dent in it this even still has the original Briggs sticker you know this thing is a this thing's a real survivor a real jewel and I'm thinking you know, this, this little scooter is going to get all beat to death. You know, people are going to take it and ride it and dump it. And, you know, this, this thing's going to get all, all messed up. Not Mike or a little dirt bike. I mean, when you build something yourself, you have a little respect for it and you take care of it. But there's a lot of goofs at the shows and they're all going to be taking it and wanting to ride it. So, like I say, this one here is too pristine. So it is, I found this other one here, and it's already uh, degreased and and pretty much sanded down. The only thing wrong is, has it, oh, hold on, all right, yeah, sorry about that, another television producer, all right, yeah, so I think I'll go with this one, uh, this is a uh, pretty decent shape, has a couple little dents up top here. I don't even know if I, you know what, I will fix them because that's where the sticker goes. And maybe I'll just braze a little tiny piece of metal in there. I have some other bodywork to do, so so to do this would be no problem. So. so we solve that problem, get rid of that, save that one, and we'll use this one. Alright, alright. Now here's something else we have to deal with here. Remember when uh, we took this apart and everything and we were all amazed about how clean this was? Let me get a little light here. You see, you can actually even see shine on the bottom there. And we're all amazed at how, how clean and pristine the inside of this was. But it turns out, let me get the carburetor off here. This engine was probably upside down in the mud. So all the corrosion and rust and crust is actually on the top of this. And that explains why the bottom here is rusted, you know. This was probably sitting in a, in a field for years or in a barn, not any, probably not even a barn, probably outside. And this is what took all the, the rust. I, I have a feeling that if I do, it feels pretty thin. If I do wire wheel that and everything, I have a feeling that's going to show some uh, pinholes. But uh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to try and save this tank and, and check it out, but uh, not right now. Also with the carburetor. You know, it looked like somebody had rebuilt the carburetor here. But this part here, I guess you'd call this the throttle. You know, I cleaned out the inside and stuff, but the throttle is actually missing parts. Plus, the suction tube is uh, had a crack in it. So I tried to take it out of here and to replace it, and it broke off inside. But the screen is still good, so I can save that and use that for something else. But uh, let's see what else we can use here. Even the gas cap has uh, crust and rust here because it was uh, accumulating that way. But anyway, this this throttle here is actually missing. It's actually I got it in wrong. It goes like that. There should be a, a, a little tang here, and that goes and stops up against the. Uh, wait. 
I don't know if I have it right or not. But anyway, here's here's a carburetor and it's missing this little tab that holds the idle screw. It actually snapped off. So that's that's pretty much useless. And that tab also holds a little piece of uh, metal here that holds a spring. So that carburetor is uh, it needs it needs too much work to use. So I think I'll just replace the whole carb. I checked out in the shed and I had to, this tank here. Got a good carb on it. Good tank and everything and I'm looking at it. And uh, it does. It has, has one little dent there. And dent there. But then I found this one here. And uh, this one has a good carburetor on it. But this tank is actually uh, has, a, has a, a dent in the side here. So I think I'm going to go with this because, like I say, this thing is, is going to get beat to death. You know, just from bringing it up and back to the shows and all the kids and everything playing with it and stuff. I'm, I'm sure it's going to get knocked over. So, you know, I keep I keep forgetting. You know, it's not a show engine, so there's no no need to to put show parts on it. So uh, I'll probably go with this uh, tank here. We'll clean this tank up, and uh, that'll probably have that'll probably have the fuel line in there and everything. So clean that up and I'll be ready to go so that's what we're going to do with that all right and then we have the cooling shroud here and I was looking at this and this is actually uh, pitted and the, the label plate is all dented and stuff and I could clean it up and use it but uh, while I was out in the shed I went to see if we had any extra extra uh, cooling shrouds and I came across the a stack of them here this one here I must have used for a template, but uh, uh, there's probably about uh, eight or nine of them here. And I'm thinking to myself, did we really take that many shrouds off of the engines? And I'm thinking, sure. And I look at this, and we had the, we took the three off of the radial. We got four off of that. This was the 20 original. We kept one on there, but then took one off of that. The hit and miss, we took one off of that. The clear head, we took one off of that, and the water cooled, so so we actually should have 12, which is crazy. I didn't think we uh, we took that many engines apart, but I guess we did. So, and the funny thing is, I even told Michael one time, every time we take these off and I check the serial numbers and everything, they always come up as a, like a 1952. That seems to be the most popular year they made these. You know, I think they made them from 1949 to... Uh, 57 but anyway they always come up as a, a night as, as a 52 or a, I think we had a couple 54s so uh, I'm not gonna worry about serial numbers and stuff like that I'm just gonna find a good one matter of fact this one right up front here looks good look at that that might even be too good all right so that's what we're gonna do with that we'll clean them up paint them and uh, Put them on there. All right, let's start doing something instead of talking, right? All right. All right. Here's something interesting I thought I'd show you guys. Here's what a Briggs label looks like. Let me bring it under here where there's no reflection. You see, it has Briggs and Stratton's name and stuff, and the model and the type and the serial number and stuff, and any instructions and the valve clearance and stuff. Anyway, that's what that's what most of your uh, your 5S and 6S's look like. But I came across this. This this was a 5S. It was actually put out by Sears, and Sears they put their number on there, 500. Anytime you see a 500 on a on a motor, it's always a Sears. But this was this was a 5S model, and there's a serial number and stuff, and it has all the same information. I came down here saying I'm no glare, but it ain't helping. But uh, I thought that'd be interesting. I mean, they're out there. You don't see too many of them, but. Uh, Sears and Roebuck. Ego. Alright, I got the shroud ready to go. I uh, soldered a little piece of uh, metal in here. Soldered. Soldered for you uh, guys over there in Australia, New Zealand, and United Kingdom. But, uh, and I got it all ground down so uh, we'll be able to put it up here. I, I screwed the backing plate to a piece of wood here so it will be held in the in vise. 
and I could actually bolt that down now. That'll be sturdy so I can do some body work to it. And we got this little air shroud. This is all done. It's all ready for paint, so let's do some body work. Alright. Yeah, that looks like a lot of putty. Oh, thank you, honey bee. Yeah, it looks like a lot of putty, but it's not because I'm going to also, uh, let me turn you around here. I'm also going to uh, try and put some putty on that. I don't want too much hardener because uh, it's pretty warm. Got the air on. And this ain't the best putty. This is uh, this is old stuff, but this is the kind of stuff you want to use it on. You don't want to use it on a good car. Wow, having a tough time mixing it here. It's so old. Wow, we'll make it work though. We'll make it work. storming outside. Then we need a little more of this. Not too much. Right, I'm gonna finish mixing this and then we'll meet you over there at the device. The yeah this stuff is uh, I think it might be too old. I'm going to try and get some uh, good stuff. Yeah, I could have made that other stuff work, but it, uh, it wasn't worth it. It would have made it more work and aggravation. But uh, this here is actually a newer and a better, better grade of putty. You see, it's more of a beige. The other was a gray. This, this is top grade stuff here. You hate to use it on uh, lawnmower engines, but uh, hey, what are you going to do, right? All right, see how nice and creamy it is? Mixes up real nice. We tried though, right? Can't blame me for trying. That's what you save the old uh, body putty for. Use it on jobs like that. Hard to tell the color change. Alright, let me get over here. Alright. Come in. It'd be nice if I can go down like this, put the, the voices in the way. So, I'm gonna have to do this. That's better. That'll work. All right. Normally, I would have taken the cheese grater and, and grated this while it was still a little soft, but uh, I really didn't have to because it already has the shape, you know. What I'm going to do is uh, take some 36 grit, and I'm just going to knock the, the resin all raises to the top, so that makes your sandpaper sticky. So I usually just... Uh, Get that off before I put sandpaper on there. Matter of fact, I'm gonna knock some of these high spots down. It's funny the the more expensive stuff doesn't really have much resin as the, the cheap stuff. So
good as that looked, I got such a real slight uh, low spot there. All right. Let me clean this up a little bit and I'll turn you back on. All right, came out pretty good. I got one low spot here, a tiny line here, that's a low spot. And then right here is a low spot where I uh, I did the soldering. So uh, I'm gonna fill that in. What I'm gonna do when I fill that in, I'm also gonna give this a, a real smooth coat across the whole thing. And then that'll be my finished coat. And then I'll uh, I'll cut it down with maybe 220 or something and make the finished coat instead of having to put glazing putty on it. All right. I had to cut the corner off from a piece of wood here. I was catching hell with that. I couldn't. I couldn't really shape anything. So uh, that's why. That's why that's missing. Alright, yeah, we're happy with that. I mean, uh, that's ready for paint now. I guess we'll wrap this one up. I mean, uh, we can't really paint it. I mean, it's raining like hell out, and uh, nothing else we can do, really. So we're, uh, we're at a standstill here, so I, I guess we'll call this one done, huh? Alright, enough of this.